Oh, hello. Um, I'm looking for a story. I've heard there's a storyteller around here called Yanina Vigas. Have you, you seen her anywhere? No? Uh, is that her over there? So, please get yourselves wiggly and jiggly and comfortable. And switch your ears on. Get your smiles ready. Open your hearts. And be ready for the story. And this story happened way, way, way back. Right at the beginning of everything, there lived a man who sold hats. There lived a man who sold hats. And this particular day, just like that hat, and just like that hat, and that hat, and that hat, and that hat, and that hat too, and those hats also. This particular day, the man who sold hats placed all the hats that he needed to sell into his cart. There were top hats, floppy hats, bobble hats, bowler hats, boaters, stripy hats, baseball caps and balaclavas too. All in the cart. He picked up his hat, put his hat on, grabbed hold of his cart and set off down the road to market. What he didn't realise though was that he was being watched. He was being watched from the tops of the trees by hundreds of You know and I know that what a monkey sees, a monkey does. And the monkey saw the man pick up the hat and put it on his head. And they go laughing and chattering down from the trees. They looked around, they each picked up a hat and they put those hats on their heads. Monkeys with top hats, monkeys with Mickey hats, monkeys with flowery sun hats, bubble hats and boaters balaclavas and baseball caps, all on monkey heads. The monkeys then scattered and chattered and clambered right back up to the tops of the trees again. <gasps> well, do you think the man was happy? No. no, he was not. He was not happy. He was grumpy. Very, very grumpy. What do you look like when you're very, very grumpy? Oh, that's a good grumpy fat. Oh, that's very good. Oh, oh grumpy. A step. Oh, really grumpy. Really grumpy. I can see a smile. Nah, grumpy face. Oh, lovely grumpy face. Wow. The man was so grumpy, he looked up at the trees and he took his hand and put it round his mouth and he said, Hey, monkeys, give me back my hats. Wow. The man wasted no time at all. Wiped his eyes, wiped his nose, and he started picking up the hats. Oh, put him back in the cart. There's a, there's a floppy hat over there. Can you pass it over, Joe? Thank you very much. Oh, there's a top hat just behind you there. Can you pick one like this? Thank you very behind much. Me. Oh, there's always one behind you. Thank yeah, you very much. Thank you. And there's one up there. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, there's so many hats. Can you imagine that? You can keep that on yourself. <laughs> was his own hat and he put that on his <laughs> own head. And you know what? He wasted absolutely no time at all in picking up the cart and making straight for the market. And he got there. And if you go there on Saturday to the market in Bishop Stortford, you'll see the man that sells hats, top hats, bubble hats, bowler hats and boaters, rubby hats, stripy hats, baseball caps and balaclavas. Okay. You'll see him. But don't mention the monkeys to him. Very he gets very, very, very upset. And that 
is the end of that story. was exactly what I needed. Well, I must bid you all farewell now because, well, I really must dash. <laughs>